Hi, welcome back to Alpha Motors here in Wigan. My name's Graham and today I'm going to show you around an absolute classic. This is a 52 year old Ford Mark II Cortina 1600 Super. Now the car itself has covered 48,000 miles just over and has been locked away for many, many decades. Now Nelson, my father, he's the uh, founder of Alpha Motors, discovered this car online about four years ago and he purchased it off the previous keeper and they themselves were also garage owners. Now they discovered it some couple of decades earlier and in, locked away in a, in a garage, uh, having grown up longing for a Mark II Cortina 1600 Super, they acquired the vehicle and as the advert reads, set about taking the car apart to make it an absolute show winner. Now unfortunately, due to time and the busyness of their lives, the car was sent away, the body shell was sent away and it was bead blasted back to bare metal and then it had a professional paint job carried out by a friend in the trade that they knew. They themselves weren't bodybuilders or, bo or panel beaters and so they entrusted that, which you can tell, to the professional. And then the car came back over a decade ago and then basically they set about re-trimming it. Unfortunately, it never got completed and to which then it sat under a sheet at the back of their workshop for some years. The business got busier and they needed the space for a ramp an MOT station, so the car became available and that's where Nelson, my father, bought it from them. He then set about, he's now retired, he's a motor engineer, and this is number four of the cars he's done, so he's done a, a console, he's done a 66 Mustang, he's done a Zephyr, and now he's done a Mark II Cortina. Cars that he grew up enjoying and longing for. So the colour itself is blue mink. Now this is, shall we say, I'm 50 years old this year. This was an optional, I wouldn't call it a metallic paint finish, because metallic paint finishes was there in their infancy around 1970. But the car itself is an absolute gorgeous colour of blue mink. Now she sat on the row style wheels, so previous to uh, aluminium and, and the design of alloy wheels, we got the row style wheels. Now they were, you know you'll see them on 1600Es, you'll see them on Cortinas, Capris of, the, of this particular age. Now we've got the one Ford badge on the near side wing, Ford only ever put them on the near side wing due to the fact that anybody walking down the street that's what they saw. They saw the Ford emblem. If we look around the front of the car, we've got the patina and the age of the, the uh, aluminium and chrome work, so we've got the age relation. These parts now are so difficult to get hold of, uh, but they are genuine to the vehicle. We've got the overriders on there, which was an extra. I'm just telling Don, my colleague on the camera, about some of the features and the curb appeal. Now, if you had a Cortina back in the day, your dad would be washing it on a Sunday morning. If your friend had an L or a GXL or a, a 1600 Super or even a gear. Now, if you had a gear, you were somebody then. We've got the period Great Britain or GB badge there. Not that many people drove abroad, but it just had to have one. We've got the age Cortina 1600 Super. The badges are in super, super condition. I really do like them. Absolutely fantastic. Now, inside we've got the black, I wouldn't call it leather, but it's the period interior. We've got the speedometer showing 48,105 miles. But everything in there, this car's had lots and lots of new parts on it and lots of original parts. So we've got a new carpets and everything in there as well. So it's just completed. It's had a probably a couple of hundred miles running in. Uh, it's had upgraded uh, fuel pump. We've got lots of nice features. I'm going to show you under the bonnet any minute, but everything is period. This is a turn the key, attend a Saturday or Sunday meet 
everybody will admire it. While I'm videoing this car here, we've had five people come off the petrol station just to admire the car, tell us that the dad had one, the granddad had one. Lots of new parts, it's got all new kick plates, so that when you do open up everything, it's lovely fresh. We still have the smell of 1970 in this car, so when you put your head in, it's got that vintage feel. Now let me just pop the bonnet, let me start it for you, Don. We've got a stainless steel exhaust system throughout. It's got disc brakes on the front. It's got new calipers. Have a look on the pictures on our website. We've took pictures underneath it. This is absolutely as good as you will ever, ever find on the market today. So I'm going to pop the bonnet there now. Let's take a look under here. We've got a Weber Carbon. We've got a four branch manifold. But just look at that engine. The engine itself, my dad obviously is a, a mechanic. We had the engine, we had new valves and unleaded uh, seals put in there. So the car runs completely on unleaded fuel. We've got uprated hoses, we've got new uh, radiator. But one of the things when I was a panel beater, 1989 I left school, and we were putting strut tops on these cars as foreigners at weekend. Now these are original strut tops, beautiful, we've got the number stamped in them there again because it's had a full repaint my dad's got period stickers we've got the chassis number here and we've also got the VIN plate which is original factory VIN plate beautiful absolutely gorgeous but just listen that engine ticks over drives fantastic it's like going back in the day gosh what a wonderful car so 1600 engine there overhead camshaft with a K&N filter again pop the bonnet open at any car meet show and this is a real real testament not only to the previous keepers because obviously they've kept it nice all the way through but just the rebuild is absolutely superb it's going to be uh, sold with a fresh 12 months MOT don't forget these cars are uh, tax free let me just grab the keys, Dom, and let's open the boot. Now you've heard the car running. Because where these cars used to go, because it was stored for so many years, they never did. So we've got various covers there. But fresh new petrol tank, and that's been powder coated, so underneath is also perfect. We've got the tool kit. The inner wings are all absolutely as they were when they left the factory all those years ago. New carpets throughout with our new headlining, new chrome patina, lots of lovely, lovely new parts. Now you could probably not restore this car to the standard that it's been restored to at the actual price that this car is going to be sold for. So if you're looking for a turnkey Mark II Cortina, 48,000 miles in mint blue metallic of the era, riding on roll style wheels, then this probably is the car for you. Would look great at any NEC classic car show, would look great at any cars and coffee, would arrive at the Cortina's owners club and people would look round it with envy. Drives fantastic, could sit in normal traffic at 60 miles an hour and be pleasurable and enjoyable. So, if you want any more information, I'm Graham. I'll help you, if we can, we can offer finance. If you want to inspect it on our ramp before you purchase it, you can do also. If you want to go on a 40 mile test drive before you purchase it, we'll do that as well. But let me say to you, this is arguably a one of one, which you'll find very, very few and far between cars of this standard on the market today. Bearing in mind, at £50 an hour to restore one, there's probably five, six hundred hours in this car alone of Nelson, my father, the motor engineer. So, this is the beautiful Cortina 1600 Super. Uh, 48,000 miles and I'm going to show you the underneath of the car to show the extent of the restoration. Now Nelson has spent more than two years restoring this car 
so we've got a full stainless steel tailor-made exhaust, brand new fuel tank which is powder coated, and then everything underneath, all brand new poly bushes, we've got everything which is absolutely phenomenal. All colour coded in black, just take a look at the chassis rails on the back of this vehicle, they are in exceptional, exceptional order. As you can see where everywhere where they generally went, this car is still on the same metal as it was when it left the Ford factory up there in the wheel arches. Having been a panel beater myself for a many, many a year, my father, who started our business some 40 years ago, is a Ford fanatic and on retiring, shall we say, searches the clubs for cars which people have uh, started but failed to finish. Now this particular vehicle, as the advert reads, was purchased by him some three years ago and then has spent the last three years in his retirement uh, after finishing off a Zephyr Zodiac and, a, and a, a, a console. This was the next project he found up in Scotland where it laid dormant for many, many years. Again, somebody had started it in the motor trade but yet had not got the time to finish it. He found it, but the body is, on for not, is phenomenal. Let me tell you, if you are going to buy the car, I will gladly put this car on the ramp for you as well. So you can inspect it so that you're completely happy. But my dad, he's been a, a mechanic for over 60 years now. And his pleasure is just doing these. It's the pleasure of putting them back together again. You couldn't actually afford to do one to this level. Because the lay, cost of the labour now is so extensive. As you well know, £50 an hour and that's cheap. And there's probably two to 2,000 hours in something like this. So they're only done, shall we say, hobbyists. But obviously Nelson, my dad, he is a fully qualified mechanic. Searched and found everything where he needed it to be. All these sort of uh, parts suppliers. Everything is in exceptional. This is turnkey, ready to drive this summer. Up underneath every wheel arch. Look at that, have a look in there. Absolute brilliant. Wheels, he did all the wheels, sent them away. Tires are all mega. Again, chrome where he could find original chrome. A lot of it is original as well. Especially I remember him trying to find the trims on the bonnet. Very, very, very hard to get hold of. Fantastic color, I'm sure you'll agree. But I'm gonna do, obviously you can have a number of videos on this car. Yeah, anybody who gets this will be getting a phenomenal restored vehicle.